today we will solve the problem 5.15 of Griffith uh, fourth edition introduction to electrodynamics uh, problem 5.15 is a thick slab extending from z equal to minus a to z equal to plus a and infinite in xy direction carries a uniform volume current j which is equal to j x cat that is current flows in x direction um, find the magnetic field as a function of z both inside and outside this lab now i can explain the problem you have a slab uh, which is a distance a away from the y-axis uh, above y-axis and below y-axis it is minus a uh, it is infinite at the xy plane that is uh, this plane uh, so now we have to find the magnetic field inside and outside this uh, slab uh, by right hand rule uh, the field point is in negative y direction for uh, z is greater than 0 uh, that is at positive z axis and it is uh, plus y axis plus uh, y cat y direction positive y direction for z is uh, less than 0 that is negative z axis so uh, now uh, first we will see the magnetic field at the center axis y axis uh, that is here at the center of the uh, sorry along the y axis at the origin this is uh, because in the up, upward you have current in the positive uh, negative direction and here uh, below the y axis is uh, uh, positive y direction both will cancel out so uh, at the y axis p is equal to zero that is one important point now i have taken this slab like uh, this in two dimension uh, you forgot about the x axis this is y axis and this is x axis i am taking uh, our, a slab inside the uh, in, uh, I am uh, sorry, I am taking an amperian loop inside this slab. I have expanded that uh, slab. So uh, here it is uh, plus A, here it is minus A, and current flows uh, in the negative Y direction above the Z axis, and below it is uh, uh, along the Y direction. So uh, now uh, the, let us say the slab length is L. This is L. I have taken an Amperean loop with the length L uh, and the thickness is Z. Let us say this uh, height is Z. Then and the magnetic field is uh, according to ampere's law that is a uh, uh, closed integral p dot tl is equal to mu naught i enclosed so now uh, we are considering the uh, case inside this slab so i have mentioned this as p sub n integral over uh, tl is equal to mu naught i enclosed uh, so, if you integrate TL uh, the entire length, you will get uh, P uh, sub N I N uh, into L and uh, this is in the um, positive Y axis, it is uh, current flows in the uh, negative Y axis. So, this will become minus the charge enclosed, you know, what is the charge enclosed? charge enclosed is j current density into area area is ztl so i have replaced uh, the j uh, uh, i enclosed in terms of j ztl uh, this is of course in the negative y direction so 
Now you can cancel this L and L this side. So the magnetic field inside this slab is equal to minus mu naught j z uh, y cat. So along a negative y direction. This is inside. So we will see at outside. Now we will see the magnetic field outside the uh, slab. So we will consider uh, two cases. That is one in the positive z direction, other one is in the negative z direction. Uh, so now uh, you can take this as, as usual. This is a and minus a. Uh, now the current enclosed is only this area for positive x direction. This is a. Uh, then this is l. This is along z direction. This is y axis. So uh, now the magnetic field outside I have mentioned as a p uh, sub out integral T L mu naught i enclosed. In this case, T L integral over the closed path is T L is equal to L. This T L is equal to L. Similarly, this I enclosed. What is this I enclosed? Uh, see, the current density into area. Current density is J. Area is, you can see, this is A, A into L. This yes, area. A into L. So, I have replaced I enclosed as J, A, L. Here, this L, L will get cancelled as manner. So, the magnetic field outside the uh, slab is equal to because it is uh, positive z, uh, z axis current flows along the negative y direction so i have mentioned it is negative so minus mu naught j uh, j a y uh, cat so this is above uh, z is equal to uh, z is greater than a this is z is greater than a then we will see the another case if it is below uh, so like here i have shown the uh, current enclosed area in yellow highlight same is the case here so uh, as usual uh, this is y uh, axis and this is z axis uh, this is a a but a uh, minus a see this is minus a a so this uh, height is a here we are taking z point here and this is l you know you can take this as l so the p out uh, is equal to the integral uh, the path integral t a which is equal to mu naught i enclosed here p out is equal to uh, p out uh, this integral you will get l so i have replaced this by l uh, then i enclosed the same as previous case uh, here it is uh, uh, j is equal i enclosed is equal to j times a l so height into width uh, so i have replaced this here now i can cancel this l and l remember that here instead of negative uh, y direction it is in positive y direction uh, in the negative z axis uh, the magnetic field is along positive y direction uh, then p out is equal to positive plus mu naught j a y cat so this is the field elect, uh, magnetic field outside the uh, slab uh, that is a outside uh, sorry this is outside the slab uh, when z is uh, less than minus a so that is outside this uh, sorry z is greater than minus a z is greater than minus a uh, so uh, these are the results to be got from this uh, 
uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously thank you very much